Hello dear dudes and dudelinas, today I'm gonna show you how to achieve this super cute silver to black on the look of my good friend Sarah. She already bought this Maria Nila color refresher in the color black and all I have to do is mix it with some white conditioner to get a smooth ombre effect. If you first need to learn how to get silver or white hair, please follow the video that is playing at the bottom of this video. I mixed a little bit of the conditioner to the black refresher to get a smoother consistency so it's easier to apply to the hair. To get a nice grey, I used the conditioner to lighten up the black in a second bowl. Wash your hair with a cleansing shampoo, blow dry it, brush it through and now you can separate it in small sections. Now comes the fun part, the applying. I tried two different techniques. In the first technique that you see here, I first applied the grey tone to the middle part of the hair with the brush, then softly blending it upwards and after that I applied the black to the roots of the hair and did just the same thing. If you like to get an even smoother transition, you can use some conditioner at the top part of the grey to achieve a very even blending. Now I'm trying another technique and begin with the darkest color at the tips and work my way up to the grey tone. The result was just the same, I just wanted to see if there's a difference of the darkness of the colors and everything, but it is just the same result, so you can do it as you wish. <laughs> Please let the color sit in for at least 15 minutes. It's better to leave it in for about an hour or something so that you can be sure that the transition gets nice and smooth and that the colors won't get spotty. When it's time to wash it out, please only use cold water, no shampoo. To keep those permanent hair dyes for as long as possible, you should always wash your hair with cold water. It's always very good for your scalp. And here you see the finished result of my beautiful friend Sarah. <laughs> she also has a Facebook page and a very interesting YouTube channel. You should really check her out and subscribe to her. I really hope you enjoyed watching and that you might found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions left, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments below if they are not mentioned in the info box yet. If you want to see more of Sarah's videos, feel free to click on the Fien Sauber picture shown here on the end card. Fien Sauber is German for fairy magic. And if you'd like to see more of my hair dyeing tutorials, there are two videos below you can click and enjoy. <laughs> As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!